Welcome to the ShareWell tutorial series by Beyond20. In this video, we will demonstrate the new ShareWell 9.6 out-of-the-box content and how to use the new layouts for an incident to display a specifics form in both the uh, main form of the incident's overview and also as part of a separate tab for specifics. Let's look at the incident out of the box from 9.62. The new form now has two sections to it. So it has a, a header section, which always appears at the top. And then there's form arrangement. And in the form arrangement, we're going to see different tab. And one, the very first tab is called overview. And if we look at the overview, we have description and we have additional questions. And what they have done out of the box, Sharewell has placed in this section right here. This is where the specifics forms go, but most specifics forms will not fit in that area. So you have a couple of choices, and one choice is to split that. First of all, it's using an adaptive layout. So you can go into each adaptive layout of the incident overview form and then right click on the area where you have your embedded specifics form and make sure it has the relationship of incident own specifics and then click on either summary form or if you like mini summary form does not matter which one of these two you select you do need to note which one it is though because that's going to be used later on make sure we don't have the form is read only checked and make sure that this checkbox is not checked if form type not found use next best because we only want to use the summary form for that area. So that works for that part of it. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the form arrangement. So in the form arrangement, we'll add a new tab and we'll use the title for the tab name will just be the specifics type name. So we'll just add that as an expression. It'll look blank in the form arrangement when you're working in a blueprint, but it will always show up if there is a specifics form associated with the incident as the specifics type name. And then for tab contents, go ahead and click on the relationship is incident own specifics. And we will go ahead and on the form, you can either select the specific form or the default form. Just go ahead and select the default form. And this is where your main form will show up. So, and then down here, just put for the default view, just select form. Uh, we don't need to show the toolbar. And then we'll click OK. So now this is going to be blank in this view, but we'll always show what our tab view is. So next we need to go over to the specifics forms. And for each specific form that we want to split, and in this case we want to split the termination form, we're going to remember we had in the overview we're showing the summary form. So we're going to have to go into the summary form and create that. And we've created it so it fits in the dimensions of our smallest adaptive form layout. And all we're putting in there is a portion of that termination form that we want to show in the incident overview. So in this case, we're just showing like the personal information of the person or of the employee. And we're making it fit in the width of the smallest embedded form layout. And then we're going to look at edit form. And we have, you'll see in the edit form, we don't have any personal information in edit form, but we have all of the other information that we need to show and have uh, check boxes and all of the different things that are going to happen with this termination notification form. So this piece will go in its own tab. And the summary form will appear in the incident overview. So let's see how that looks. So 
So it looks exactly the way we want it to. Right here in the incident overview, we have the upper portion or the personal information for the employee. And then we go to the specifics employee separation and we have all of the details. So just a nice little trick on how to utilize both the incident overview and an additional tab. If you did not want to put anything in the incident overview, you could just discard this section and just add a tab for the specifics form. Either way will work just fine. But there are some use cases where you may want to have the data in part of the data over here in the overview and then the rest of the data in a specific tab. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been informative to you. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our Beyond 20 channel on YouTube or visit us at www.beyond20.com.